Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Alison, the online piano and the online violin tutor. Now, I had a comment the other day on my channel. I'm sorry, I can't remember who it was from, but they asked me how much does it cost per month to play the violin? You know, what's the kind of, what are the running costs, so to speak, of playing the violin? Um, and I actually thought it was a, a really good, legit question. Not really something I'd kind of really ever thought about I suppose myself the amount of money that I've I've spent on my instrument and things um keeping it going over the years um yeah I'd, I'd never kind of really added it up or really thought about it but but it just suddenly got me thinking that actually it was a really really good question for those of you that are starting out in the violin you want to know what you're sort of getting yourself into financial wise you don't really want to be sending yourself down a rabbit hole where you can't get out of and once you've started, you can't stop and, you know, you've committed and, and that kind of thing. So I just wanted to talk to you about what I think the kind of potential running costs are going to be and how much it's going to cost you monthly and roughly the kind of costs that, that, that you might be looking at so that you can decide whether this is something that, that you want to continue on, on with or not. So most of this is going to be a one-time payment. So once once you've bought it, that's it there's no need to buy any of it again unless you want to replace something for much better quality however as the old saying goes buy cheap buy twice so if you buy something that's decent in the first place and you don't buy a piece of rubbish then you won't be having to really replace anything until you get to a point where you know you you, you just want to because you feel that you're uh, you've progressed really well you feel that you're a lot better you're more technically advanced you are definitely invested in learning the instrument and kind of going all the way with it and then you know you want to buy something a lot better but that's completely your choice from that point onwards so the first thing that you need to buy is going to be obviously your violin. So I'm just going to be talking and referring to those of you who are beginners, those of you that are just starting out. You're not going to be buying anything that's kind of antique and this kind of level. So something that you're going to be starting out and buying. Now, price wise, I personally think and I know this is a very controversial subject, but price wise, I would personally advise something no less than $250 to start out with a violin. Now, before anybody shouts at me through their, their laptop screen, I know exactly what you're gonna say and I know exactly what you're thinking. Yes, you can absolutely buy violins that are a lot cheaper than that. You can buy violins that are half that price. You can buy violins that are even half that price. So you can buy violins that are less than $100. You can, I'm sure you can buy them for around about Oh, I've heard of, I've seen people comment and saying that they bought a violin for $30, $40. Now, what I'm going to say to you is those are total and utter garbage. Don't even waste your money with them. I've spoken about this many times on my channel. And the reason is, is that they might look like violins, but they are just not violins. So these are the violins, the real cheap, crappy ones that you get from Amazon. And I'm talking about the ones that are going to be less than $100. So it's $50, $60, $70, that kind of thing. You cannot get, you cannot get a violin that's decent enough to play on for that kind of money. And I know some of you will be saying, but I've got a $50 violin and I can play just fine. I guarantee that you can't play just fine. I guarantee you're gonna be hitting a lot of other strings. Your technique isn't gonna be anywhere where it should be. And you're just not gonna be sounding good at it. So even if you are sitting there playing on a $50 violin, I can absolutely with all my years of, of teaching and, and playing and performing guarantee and say to you that you would be a lot better and a lot more advanced if you were playing on a proper violin that was much um, that was much more decent and a lot more thought had gone into it and it was just a much nicer violin in total the problem with these cheap violins mainly is that they're very heavy first of all so they're very they're very uncomfortable when something's very heavy and it's very uncomfortable it makes it very fatiguing um, on the body all round to keep a violin where it should be on the shoulder and and you know out to the side you know exactly where the violin should be held it's very difficult to do that when you've got something that's very cumbersome it's very thick it's very heavy because it is just so 
fatiguing. The second point is going to be the, 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 the strings or namely the bridge. So what happens when you get these violins is that they don't really do anything with the bridge. So they just give you a bridge. Sometimes the bridge comes on, sometimes the bridge comes off and you've got to put the bridge on yourself. But these bridges have not been sanded for the most part. They're very thick. Um, and they're, they're very flat as well. So they expect you to actually sand them down. So the problem with those bridges is because they're so thick, they sound horrendous. So the sound is gonna be very not, really not very attractive at all. Not what probably attracted you to playing the violin in the first place. And the bridges are gonna be very flat, which means you're gonna be hitting a lot of strings. So that's the reason why I don't like those those cheap violins. But moving on, I've said I think the base point of a decent violin is $250. The reason why I say that is because the Fiddler Man has a, um, a violin that I reviewed this year, actually, it was only maybe three or four months ago, called the Tower Strings Entertainer Violin. I'll put a link to that violin, um, uh, sorry, the, the violin and the review, so you, you can hear my whole review on that. But his, for example, starts in his shop at $250, and I can tell you that that is really good decent violin your top end price can be however deep your pockets are so say for example fifteen hundred dollars for a fiddler man soloist violin oh and if you're in the uk then 200 pounds for a violin 250 pounds same sort of thing i know the i know you've got the exchange rate but it pretty much 250 dollars pretty much goes the same value as 250 pounds instrument wise not kind of exchange rate wise so yeah your top end can be whatever you want it to be but let's just say for argument's sake $250 for a, a violin outfit and that will get you the the, the bow uh, the rosin the case shoulder rest and all that kind of thing the second thing that you need to get is a book series or a book course or something to something 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 that you can actually learn on. So you can even get yourself a teacher. Now a physical teacher I'm not to be honest I'm not sure how much they're going to cost in the US but in the UK you're probably looking at around about on average let's say 30 to 40 pounds per hour per week. So you're looking at a hundred and so what would that be in America? So you're looking at 50, 50, between 50 and $60, just for argument's sake, per week. So you're looking at about $200 per month. You're looking at 200 pounds, 150 pounds per, per month. Now the alternative to that, for you guys that don't actually wanna to go to a physical teacher, can't afford a physical teacher, they're very good, but they are very expensive. So they come with their pros, but they also come with their cons as well. You've got to fit them into a schedule. You've got to commit to having a weekly teacher. You've got to commit to the weekly finances, etc., etc., etc. Your other option is to get an online course, of which I have one right next to me. So a lot of you that are watching this video know that I have my 1 to 30 violin course. But for those of you who don't, I have a 1 to 30 violin course which is available to purchase from my online shop. I will put links in the description bar underneath. The good thing about my course is that it guarantees to take you from a complete beginner, complete beginner to a very decent and accomplished intermediate player assuming that you follow my book course. The first 10 lessons are absolutely free so you can go through them you can see how far you get after the first 10 lessons. You'll get an idea of my style, how I teach, how I deliver the information and how I educate and everything. And any free resources and PDFs that you need for that particular lesson or the first 10 lessons are linked directly underneath those videos where appropriate. Once you've done the first 10 lessons, you would then move on to Songbook 1, which contains 10 pieces based on all the information that you've learned in the first 10 lessons. After that, you'd move on to uh, Book 2, which is Lessons 11 to 20. Once you've done that, then you'd move on to Songbook 2, which is gonna be at the exact level that you will be by the time you get to Lesson 20. Then you'll move on to the next set of 10 lessons, which is more technical stuff, that kind of thing. And then you'll finish off with songbook three, which is a culmination of everything that you've learnt. My book course is 100% downloadable, so there are no physical books 
to ship out to you. I know I have them here, but these are just ones that I've just printed off on my printer at home and I've just bound them together. You know, it's just so I've got something to show you guys when I'm making videos and things. So there's nothing physical to ship out. The second you pay for them, you can be downloading it and you can be getting onto it straight away. So this book course is $60, which I wanna say is something like 40, 45 pounds if you're in the, the UK. So now that you've got your, your violin outfit for let's say $250 and then you've got the, uh, the, the, the violin course, which is $60, you're looking at $310. The other kind of optional extras if you want are gonna be things like um, a, uh, a violin tuner, a shoulder rest, Oh, and maybe some rosin as well. Now, sometimes depending on what outfit you get and where you buy them from, etc., etc., you can get all of these in the case as well. And that's absolutely fine, but I do like to upgrade a lot of the stuff or recommend you upgrade a lot of the stuff. The rosin that you get is decent rosin, but that's all it is. So it's up to you if you wanna get a better rosin. Um, as I say, you don't have to, but if you just wanna go, go out and replace it, you can replace your rosin. Sometimes you get a violin tuner, sometimes you don't, but I do recommend you get a violin tuner because you do need to tune the violin. It's not necessary because there are other ways around it. You can use apps and, um, I don't know, uh, you can find the, the, the sound of the strings on the internet, on YouTube, something like that. Uh, that does require a lot of effort to go into your phone and get the video and things. So if you've got a violin tuner that's obviously going to be easier because you can just pop it on the violin you may or may not need a shoulder rest so that is completely up to you i'm not going to say that you need that because some people do and some people don't i don't play with a shoulder rest uh i i just i i, I used to when i was much much younger but i haven't done for about 30 years i don't really like them but if you if you feel like you you've got quite a bit of gap between your uh, your, your your chin and your shoulder then you might want to try a shoulder rest or alternatively if it's very uncomfortable you can try a shoulder rest so this is the wolf the wolf Forte Primo. This is the one that I personally recommend just because it, it doesn't fall off the violin all the times like a lot of the other ones do and is very comfortable. So that's kind of an optional extra if you want to go with that. The other kind of optional extra are going to be things like upgrading your strings. These are the strings that I choose to have. They're mainly parastros, uh, you know, but depending on what kind of violin you've got, what the string does or doesn't do will depend on what strings you choose. But Generically speaking, you can upgrade your strings if you want to. Generally, the Fiddler Man violins, for example, always have pretty decent strings on them anyway, so there's no need to go and change them. But again, they're optional extras. And the other thing that you would need as a one-time kind of purchase would be a music stand, which is something like this. So I've got my, my notebook on here now, so I know what I'm talking to you about. But an optional extra would be a music stand. So to recap, you definitely need your violin. Let's call it $250. You definitely need a teacher. I don't really wanna say what that is because obviously it's gonna depend and um, I suppose I do have an online course. So I'm just gonna assume that we're talking about my online course here, which is a one-time payment of $60. So that's gonna take you to about $310 minimum. Obviously, if you're paying more for the violin, that's going up, but just as a basis to work with here. Uh, and that's pretty much it. You'll get the violin case, you'll get the rosin, you'll get everything you need in, in, the, uh, in the violin outfit. So really the only other thing that you might need to buy would be your music stand, uh, but you can use a desk to prop your sheet music up on. It's not really ideal to do that. You do want a music stand because that is what they're designed for. So you're probably looking at something like maybe, I don't know, $10, $15 for a music stand off the top of my head. So you can get everything you probably need for in and around $350. Let's just call it that for argument's sake. So that would be what? 380 pounds in the UK, something like that. Obviously it's gonna be, it's gonna vary a little bit uh, in, in the UK and, and other countries as well, but saying dollars because I know most of my audience uh, does work things out or does buy things in US dollars. You're looking about $350 in and around for a uh, for a kind of a, a complete setup. There's nothing you need to pay for monthly when it comes to the violin. So there are no kind of monthly running costs. 
the only thing there would be monthly to pay out is if you had a physical teacher but as i said if you've got an online learning alternative with um, my one to thirty violin lessons or one to thirty violin course then that is just a one-time payment so in theory everything is a one-time payment once you've paid it out there's nothing more to buy unless you decide that you want to sort of physically upgrade your your violin or your little accessories or you want to buy any extra music or anything like that so that's how much it costs to run a violin or to have a violin it's really not very much at all the bulk of the money is going to be in the violin but just please don't buy anything cheap i know you can buy a cheaper violin for 50 dollars but I've gone on about them before in many videos. Those cheap violins under $100, they are garbage for so many reasons. But there we go. I hope you have enjoyed this video. I'll put a link underneath this video to where you can buy my 1 to 30 course from my website, download it, and within minutes you can get started, and a few other links underneath as well. So thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.